Hi, my name is Catalina Rojas, um, and I will be taking you through my artistic journey while I've been studying here at JP Catholic. All right, so this is my first piece I'll be introducing. This piece wasn't for a class. At the time, I was taking perspective drawing, which was my first drawing class at JP Catholic. I really liked this piece. I was definitely using those skills from perspective drawing to create this. Um, especially with the perspective of the trees and like the road going up. Looking at it, obviously I see a lot of um, places where I could improve and I have improved, uh, mainly being the perspective of the road um, and the perspective of the cat. This was, I think, my first big watercolor piece. I've always loved watercolors. So I was very much experimenting with how the leaves were gonna look because it's a lot to cover. So since then, I've definitely improved on getting like those details in with watercolor, but I like how kind of mudded and flowy. I've made it. Um, this next piece uh, was a drapery study that I did um, for my observational class. This one was kind of crazy for me because it was one of my first experiences with toned paper and using both black charcoal and white charcoal. So our assignment was take a blanket, a sheet, and throw it on a piece of furniture. I probably adjusted this blanket and the chair with the lighting about 15 or 20 times before I was completely happy with it. Drawing fabric, it's not one of those things that you look at and you think, oh, it's gonna be a hard thing to draw, but it actually is. It's looking at something that really obeys the form of something else because you think, oh, a blanket's like a square, but the moment it like is put onto something, it has a whole bunch of crazy oblong triangles and rectangles. I was developing how I was using the pencil and like the charcoal. So in this one, I don't have any like blended shading. There's just lines. You can see all the hatches from where I drew the line and the shadings. This one, I took um, life drawing with Professor Nicolini and the assignment was to pick a sculpture and draw a master copy of it. I'm a person where I see something, I'm like, oh, I'll go all in. <laughs> um, so definitely we start out with like a basic map of where is everything going to be, where are the eyes and the proportions. Picking a spot to start, I think, is the most difficult part for me. So I tend to go in the parts where there's like the darkest or where there's no light. So in these areas and up here is where I started. And then kind of moving on into Okay, where's the lightest color? <laughs> this one where I grew the most is how I've dealt with the blending and the lights. There's absolutely no light in these areas in her mantle, but then the light's coming in kind of from this side of her face and it reflects off these pieces. And so trying to get that reflection into these pieces of her mantle and like this side of her temple, getting that done was a challenge, but I loved all of that. <laughs> This is a movie poster that I did for a senior project this year. This was a piece, like of course it was for a movie, so it had to obviously like market something and it has to tell a story. Whereas in my other pieces, it's like, okay, it's depicting something, it's something that is for myself that speaks to me. But this is different in the way that it has to depict something that tells a story, that tells people what is happening without actually being able to tell that story. We actually went through um, a couple drafts before we decided what we wanted. And it was a little bit hard because the, the topic of the movie is, is not an easy thing to discuss. It has to do with choices of life and family. So right away, of course, it can't be anything happy or bright. There's nothing wrong with happy, but it, it would have been very misleading for this film, especially with the color, the color story of this we thought was gonna be very important. So I thought maybe we'll stick to more of a monochrome palette, pick one color and kind of use different shades of that. Our main character, uh, Tila, she feels overwhelmed. So I thought, I want to portray that somehow. So that's why I picked in Photoshop to use these like squares of maybe each one is something that's on her mind, just to feel kind of like something's crowded, something's there, but we don't know exactly what. In the movie, she does have to make a choice. So I wanted to portray that without just giving away what it is <laughs> having one object in each hand was important. So she has um, pills and a, a rabbit and each one symbolizes different things in the film. I want to be a 3D animator and these pieces that I have, I think are especially important because we study like the animation and like if a person's sitting in a certain way, how is that supposed to look like in that weight? Because once you understand that, then when I can go in to animate something, it, it gives me more of an idea of, okay, I know that like 
the anatomy moves this way and make it more realistic and eventually be on that level where you don't notice the flaws. You just see the character. You're not seeing the person moving a character. It's the character is prompted on its own and learning all these things and having the opportunity to create all these different artworks is eventually what's going to help me become what I want to be. <laughs> this second piece is also from Drawing and Perspective. For this one, we were supposed to do a city street looking down. The point of view is like being a bird on one of the poles to look out over the city, like this bird next to it. <laughs> Rulers are very important. <laughs> so something that is really important when drawing buildings 